last night I dreamed. Okay, I had two recurring childhood nightmares, and there really aren't enough adjectives in the English language um, for me to fully describe to you just how incredibly awful and dreadful and terrifying and see, I'm just going to start going through every adjective that pops into mind here, how bad these nightmares were. I, I remember many nights I would lay down in bed and I would have trouble falling asleep because I was just so fearful that I was going to have either one of these nightmares once again. These nightmares caused me to just wake up suddenly and I would just be covered in sweat, gasping for breath, heart racing. These were, these were bad ones. Um, it, the funny thing, I haven't had these dreams since I was a kid, but the funny thing is I don't, I, I wonder how I would respond to them today. I mean, they, they're, they're sort of ridiculous. I might just, I don't know, I might just find them funny now, but anyways, here they are, my two recurring childhood nightmares. The first one, I'm crushed in a hydraulic press, and that's it. It's not very much, there's really not very much detail to this one. I'm certain um, this nightmare was generated from having seen the Terminator at a very young age. Um, yeah, I would just find myself um, beneath an enormous industrial hydraulic press, and that thing would just, somebody would push the button, and that thing would start coming down on me, and just, oh my god. My goodness, just how terrified I was when that thing was just a mere half inch from my nose and there's just nowhere to run. And Oh, God, that was a bad one. The other one, there's much more to this other one. Um, the other one, I, I'm playing a game of chess with this Russian grandmaster, this world champion, this just chess virtuoso. I mean, this guy's good. He's really good. Think Paul Morphy, Bobby Fischer, Gary Kasparov, the Swarathon Anand, and Magnus Carlsen kind of all rolled into one, but with a big bushy beard. He looked a little bit like a Rasputin, the Mad Monk. And uh, yeah, very good at chess. And me, I'm not so good. I know how to play chess, but um, certainly not not a champion. Um, so I, I, th this this contest never lasts very long. And um, <laughs> every time I had to play this guy, he would always have two huge bodyguards, um, one standing on each side of him, and. This was a this was a, a timed chess match, and of course he's very good, so it's going by very quickly. And the second I would lose the chess match, of course it was always me that lost. I never got lucky, never won a single match against uh, this dream champ. And the um, second I would lose, um, one bodyguard, the one on his right, would grab me, and the one on the left would pull out a big blade and behead me. No, wait, wait, he, he would he would stuff my head into a toilet and behead me as they flushed. And here's the really interesting part. I just, I didn't die. Like, I was able to live without a head. And, and that was really the part that, I mean, I, I always hated the part where I'd get my face dunked in the toilet and beheaded and then they would flush and then I would just have to leave, but really it was it was living without a head that would wake me up in the middle of the night, you know, the cold sweat. I mean, because I just, for some reason, being beheaded didn't kill me. I would just have to go to school the next day with a bloody stump where my head had been, and for some reason I was still able to hear everyone around me, even though I didn't have any ears, and I was still able to communicate with them, and I was just... I, I would just be overwhelmed with sadness because of the fact that I'm going to be perceived as this grotesque freak for the rest of my life, and uh, it's, it's, it would be very unlikely that I would ever end up becoming romantically involved with any woman because I am a decapitated walking corpse.
Those are my two recurring childhood nightmares, and they probably explain a lot about um, why I turned out the way I did. Now I want to hear your recurring childhood nightmares. Yeah, video responses, comments, anything. I want to know what woke you up in the middle of nights when you were a child. I mean, what, what horrifying nightmares just woke you up like, like Bill Bixby did when he realized his wife was dead in the Incredible Hulk pilot episode from the, the 70s, you know? What what were your recurring childhood nightmares? I, I'm, I'm dying to know.